Oh yeah, this is courtesy of BBC News. So this, um, I've spoken about this in detail. This is courtesy of BBC News. I've spoken about this in detail via my Patreon. So if you want to hear more of my unfiltered opinion regarding the RNS debacle, um, this is courtesy of BBC, Dance Label RNS Records, accused of racial discrimination. I went into it to a bit more detail, giving you my unfiltered opinion via Patreon. So if you want to hear all of that, make sure you click the link down below at patreon.com for just Agostino, patreon.com for just Agostino. I'll be uploading bonus shows on there all week, all month, all year. So make sure you just keep checking on there. You can subscribe for as little as one dollar, as little as one pound on there. So get involved. But essentially, um, I'll give you the synopsis of it uh via this paragraph here um it continues it said the head of influential dance music label rns records discriminated against black and female artists according to a former employee labor founder renat van der papillary dismissed music by some ethnic minority artists as quote-unquote meaningless and claimed that the history of techno was quote-unquote very white and said the former talent scout raj chowdhury chowdhury is suing rns for unfair dismissal citing racial discrimination the label said that there was no truth to the spurious and damaging claim Names. Quote, Mr. Renat van der Peplieri is certainly not racist and everyone at RNS Records embraces equality, said RNS co-founder Sabine Mays, who is also Mr. Van der Peplieri's wife in a statement. Um, imagine if you could just get your missus to write statements for you, denying anything that you do. And we're meant to take that and believe it. Like, come on. The statement characterized Mr. Chowdhury as a freelancer who became disgruntled and accused him of trying to blackmail the label for 10000 Imagine people just describing you. Imagine all the work you do for a label and they just dismiss you as a freelancer and say <laughs> you're just trying to blackmail him out of money oh god um there's simply no truth in anything he says it added it is of course this is the thing launched in belgium in 1984 rns records has released some of the most seminal tracks in electronic music from john beltram's energy far energy flash to airfax to in selected ambient works 85 to 92 in employment tribunal papers and filed in london mr chowdhury said that he had repeatedly attempted to diversify the label and the artists it worked with but found his efforts were frustrated or criticized some of the bam which i hate that term bame imagine like oh yeah this I hate it. Some of the BAME artists um, a, a champion were dismissed as terrible and crap, according to text messages included in his claim. Um, just imagine this guy telling you your records are crap. He looks like he can't even dance, can't two-step, probably can't, you know, uh, probably can't whistle. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes uh, people people put themselves in situations that they just don't need to be in. Um, Mr. Chowdhury also alleged that Mr. Van, Van der Peplieri refused to sever ties with a record artist who replaced anti-Semitic messages on Facebook. One post contained a photograph of Hitler captioned, you should have listened. <laughs> <laughs> quote remove his track no way said wrote mr van der Peperi after being made aware of the message he said inform him of the danger yes when mr chowdhury continued to express his unease over the associated with the, art the associated with the artist he was told to quote unquote relax a bit jesus christ the gaslighting toxic king it continued mr chowdhury has also alleged that rns tried to suppress the nhs charity album that he had put together because in his opinion mr van Pleary was uncomfortable with the black and non-binary music features under compilation his tribunal papers included an email investor per mr van der Pleary, in which he said time to delete the nhs compilation and time for quality i know raj you love all this but i hate it no talent no quality so essentially you know you know the whole just of it raj who worked there as an a and r it looks like is alleging that the head of rns records wasn't very open or willing to kind of uh co-sign or green light any of the work that he was per he was presenting and pointing forward to rns records because in raj's opinion it happened to kind of present or focus in on a particular uh group of people who you thought were under who un what, what was that word called um who weren't given the platform or unrecognized whatever that word is right obviously there probably is a racial undertone to it i'm not going to disagree with it right this guy's from belgium if you know the history of belgium within dr congo you'll know that you know some of the white dudes over there are a bit sketchy but there's also a plain fact of the matter is that this guy is old as fuck right he most probably has has had these opinions um for a very long time and people have been willing and ready to work with him because obviously he's founded one of the most legendary labels in dance music right so there's clout and there is obviously exposure 
and network and access that comes to being associated with RNS. So much so that people are willing to put aside the um, uncomfortable truth that this guy might be a closed racist. He might be a xenophobe. Uh, he might be a bigot. He might be a loads of things. But people are willing to put it to one side because he's provide, he's kind of created such a great platform that you know if you put out a record a compilation or you're associated with that label it can really open up some doors for you and change the entire course of your career that's a deal with the devil that people are willing to do in my opinion i don't think anyone should do that i think especially in the electronic music world especially with the access and the you know the technology that we have available um there is no excuse for anybody to just be willing to put up with this sort of treatment instead you should be going out there and trying to invest your money in yourself building up your own thing and doing it where you want to do it ultimately even taking away the racial undertones and the you know the kind of insulting way that he's kind of dealt with his employee if he generally thinks that the work doesn't mesh with what he vision with what he has with his label that's his own prerogative it's his label he found it he can do what the hell he wants to do um it might not be great it might not be something that kind of speaks to the times that we're living in at the moment representative of the scene but again similar to club nights similar to when you want to become a dj especially in my, in my experience most of the time no one wants to give you any sort of shine because they're all focusing on themselves you try and hit up promoters and clubs to go and play places they already have the network of people that they want to go um they they kind of trust and they believe in so the best option for you to do to kind of get involved is usually to either you know volunteer and try and help these people that are doing things in the scene that you like and just kind of be around in the scene or is to kind of put your money where your mouth is and do your own club night it's risky you have to you know maybe hire the venue uh book security um hire security guards uh pick a door have a door picker come down one of your friends you got a slipper 50 put together a lineup create the artwork for the flyer promote it and market it on social media hand out flyers in general and face to face it's a lot of work but in general if you want to get your foot into the industry you want to get your foot in you want to allow yourself the opportunity to play you know the music that you love in a great place duh, 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 you have to kind of you know have some skin in the game you just have to it is what it is um the other option is way more harder way more difficult is to kind of go through the traditional way i don't know hit up places record mixes just it just doesn't make any sense because there's so much competition you're better off kind of carving out your own little lane and helping people come to you that way so part of me just thinks like if you're raj and you've got that experience again if i'm not if i'm not if i'm not, if I'm not mistaken raj raj is definitely one of the guys that was involved with living proof which was one of the more popular hip-hop nights that we had in the uk um and they did some really great things when they were really going right i'm not sure if they're still doing it now i haven't been in years but at the time they were hot shit he had loads of connections loads of access i'm not sure even not all of it came from ironist but he could have easily parlayed that thing into his own little situation and especially if you read the entire article it, st it stipulates that he was getting paid a thousand pounds a month to work as an rna so to work as an a and r sorry rns records that's pins that's a peanuts for somebody especially of his stature who i'd imagine is very passionate about his job he's definitely not clocking in and clocking out you're definitely working around the clock doing what you love putting your blood sweat and tears into things he's imagine he's working a job like that you could easily just just you know phone it in and just do the bare minimum but he's not he's trying to kind of uplift his friends that are kind of from unrepresented unrepresented um backgrounds giving them a platform as well obviously he kind of got met with a stiff arm but he tried to do the great the, the good thing so why not take that kind of work ethic right that drive and that mentality and put it into your own stuff why would you kind of put it on a platform with a guy who clearly has some very questionable views on race, on 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 society in general, on artistry? Like he clearly has some issues going on there. It's his prerogative, though, isn't it? I, I just don't see the, I just don't see this whole like um policing of how people run their own business is it bigoted is it offensive is it rude yes 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 tick 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 but again in this world with soundcloud with the tune core with all these platforms and you know uh plug and play flipping um systems that you can set up on your computer like there really is no excuse for people willing and being able to put up with this level of abuse maybe back in the day when we didn't have the internet that could that could stand but nowadays it doesn't run it doesn't really run man but again like i said if you want my further opinion on it let me check out the patreon link will be down below in the descriptions but i'd love to know your opinion on it what do you think do you think mr van der Peer is, is bugging out um do you think most more labels should just be what you call it what they were called should be inclusive of the scene in general uh, regardless of what they think of it themselves or else let me know what you think in the comments down below